I'm Chris Nightingale and I'm the um, musical supervisor, the uh, orchestrator and co-composer. Musical supervision is fairly straightforward, which is being responsible for the performances of the cast singing and the orchestra and also um, maintaining the show and keeping it going once it's up and running, but essentially teaching the company and um, being in control of that. The orchestration is setting up the music for, in this case, band of 17 to play and arranging the music in such a way that it suits dramatically what's going on <coughs> and um, suits the way people are singing and so forth. And the third is the compositional aspect is kind of combination of the, the above, of the musical supervision and the orchestration in that. Uh, we have set pieces of music Vasana and Raman have written and I've been involved with, and then contextualizing them and putting them into a dramatic um, uh, line so that it makes sense um, as a story. The music makes sense as a story and is coherent, attempts to be coherent. So that involves writing bits and pieces and adding to what we've already done and shaping. Um, the new North Lauren piece, we decided that <coughs> we needed something, uh, a song for Galadriel and for Legolas, or a song about Galadriel and North Lorien for both Legolas and Galadriel to sing, the opening of Act 2. And um, so of course it starts with a discussion, which is with Matthew and Peter and Rob and everyone, and we, we decided that's what we needed for the, dramatically it was important to have something like that at the beginning of the act. And <clears throat> then um, I went, we went to Raman, I went to Raman and we played around knocked about a few tunes, a few melodies that sounded promising and um, he and I sat and did some work on stuff and, and he came up with a great tune. And then I then in the intervening time took the material and melodies and harmonies and things that he'd done and tried to contextualise them for actually, dramatically, what the shape of the scene and what was physically going to happen, i.e. Um, elves are going to be jumping about and we decided we wanted it to be aerial and all about the birds to kind of have a feel of lightness to it. And um, then Matthew and Sean and I sat down and, well, Sean and Matthew sat down really and, and um, figured out some lyrics for it. And that involved um, churning the music about the melody. And that's all happening on the piano, and, and then I did some demo tracks um, on Logic, which is a computer sequence program using some high quality samples, and you kind of begin to get a taste of what it might sound like and what the arrangement might sound like. And then, this is quite a long answer by the way, <laughs> and then we'd go to, uh, th then we went to Laura and uh, did some demos of it to hear really what it sounded like and then I orchestrated it up from there and um, Mum was involved with, um, we had some more ideas we wanted to, to put in and he did some good stuff at the end. The sound department is, is uh, it's very important actually, I think, that the sound department are considered part of the music department. I mean, the sound department probably say that the music department is too far from the sound department. But um, it's very important that because there's no, I mean, there's no point playing unless it gets heard properly. And the, the people in charge of the faders, and you know, it's not an, it's not an orchestral concert, it's not, it's not live, uh, live sound without any amplification. So we're completely in, uh, in the hands of people, whoever's behind the desk. So it's very important that you can talk about <clears throat> how where you think the pushes come and where the pulls come and um, the internal balances of some things are tricky when you, especially when you involve synths, keyboards, synthesizers and you've got when you're trying to trick a very very big sound and we're trying to trick a very big sound, a 60-70 piece orchestra quite often and <clears throat> the interaction between the live strings say the two violins, viola and cello and bass that we have with what synthesizers are doing, which are extremely good quality samples of those things, strings, and getting the mix between those right makes a huge difference. If it's slightly wrong, then it sounds like lots of solo strings above 
synthesizer lines, or if it's the wrong way around, you can just hear the synth and no strings. So, if, but when it's at its sweet spot, it sounds like a massive section. It sounds really good. Um, so there's a lot of tweaking, and, and, it, and you have, you know, it's important that they they're on side. So yeah, they're part of our, our department.